Hey everybody, Anthony here, SpecialtyMotorCars.net. Got a real nice one to bring you this week, folks. A 1995 Chevy Caprice Classic, finished in a beautiful dark cherry metallic with a burgundy cloth interior. This is an absolutely gorgeous Survivor Chevy Caprice of the bubble generation, as some people call this, uh, versus the box Caprice of the 80s. Uh, this car was shared on a platform with a lot of other GM cars like the Roadmaster, the Impala Supersport more closely, and even the Cadillac Fleetwood. This car came out of New Jersey. It belonged to uh, a, a sweet elderly couple, Bill and Shirley. They bought this car brand new at Patterson Chevrolet. And they bought this car to use this car, to drive this car. But Bill cherished this car. This was his last new car that he ever bought. And he took exceptional care of this car. Uh, with the condition of the car is why I decided to take this car on to sell. Normally I sell cars with lower mileage, uh, but this car is in really nice shape. It's a very, very nice driver car. And Bill really took pride in this car. This car was actually used as the lead car in Bill's funeral when he passed away. Um, so this this car meant a lot to the family The car has got hundred and twenty six thousand miles on it uh, The last 400 or so was from me. We drove this car back from New Jersey. It was a pleasure to drive It was a really nice highway cruiser And we took this car back brought it up to specialty motor cars Got it cleaned up polished up in Bill's memory and here it is looking for its next loving owner Got a lot of receipts, paperwork, some cool trinkets that go along with this car. But I'm gonna show you some up close and detailed views. The car is a very nice, clean, like I said, driver car. The car is not perfect. Bill and Shirley drove this car a lot. This was their only car. Uh, to start off, got a beautiful set of lacy alloy wheels, four brand new Milestar tires. I do believe this fender has been repainted. It looks beautiful. There's nothing on the outside that shows it, uh, but you can see just a little bit of overspray on the inside of the fender liner there. It matches very well. It looks great. It's got the beautiful pinstripe going down the side of it. Uh, I want to say that was early on, but I like being transparent. Everybody knows how I am. You can see here a couple of the flaws with the car. Some of the chrome uh, on the bottom moldings of the doors. Shows a little bit of wear and uh, delamination, a couple door chips, a couple little door dings. Like I said, this car was used as a daily driver. They took this car on a lot of trips. Um, I'll include a picture of Bill and Shirley uh, on the screen right now. That's Bill and Shirley. They bought this car brand new. And uh, I also got a picture of them when they took it home the first day. You can see here a little scrape in the rear bumper. Then there's a little bit of fade going on right here. But the paint has a beautiful gloss to it, a beautiful shine to it. Rear window is in nice shape. Even the roof. Bill really took great care of this car. The inside of this car especially does not show the mileage accurately. They had towels on the seats. They had extra floor mats covering the original floor mats. And it really protected the inside of this car. You can see here a couple little spots. You know, chips and stuff like that. Those are stone chips. Um, you know, it's it's normal daily use of this car, uh, but really well cared for. You can see here, Bill also put on stainless uh, pillar trim and then a stainless rocker trim set. It extends all the way uh, down the quarters and on the front bumper. We'll go around the back here. Back bumper is in nice shape. Got a couple spider marks. You can see here, the wax actually brought it out a lot more when I cleaned the car up. Um, nothing too crazy, and nothing really that stands out and, and gets you. The flip up Chevrolet symbol for the trunk. And there you can see Patterson in Trenton, New Jersey. I'm not sure if they're still available or open for business, I should say, uh, but that was uh, the dealership that they bought this car new at. The 
Bill and Shirley were kind of like the all-American couple. American flags, Chevrolet Caprices, traveled the world, traveled the United States a lot. They loved life. You can see here some little scratches, but very nice shape. Lacy alloy wheel on this side. Shows a little bit of corrosion. Very nice shape for the age. And then you can see on this side as well, some delamination on that chrome trim on the door moldings. But the body is in nice shape. You can see how shiny it is. A couple little dings. I want to point out one right there, another one right there. I think that's something a painless dent removal service could remedy. They're very shallow. You can see here another beautiful lacy alloy wheel. It's got a match set of Milestar touring tires. Those tires were recently replaced. Um, I'm sure this car has had a few sets of tires on it, but white walls are obviously a must for a car like this with the pinstripe with the chrome. Anyways, this is Bill and Shirley's 1995 Chevy Caprice Classic. I'm gonna bring it into the shade so I can show you the inside a little bit better. And I'm gonna get this car uh, spun around so we can take it for a nice quick road test as well. I appreciate you tuning in and give me just one minute. All right, folks, we're gonna get inside this beautiful 1995 Chevrolet Caprice. Show you the interior, so you show you some of the features and stuff that this car had for 1995. Uh, I do want to remind everybody, I appreciate your support and love on the channel here. We're now close to 21,000 subscribers, and I couldn't do it without you. And for anybody who's new to the channel, down in the bottom right-hand corner, hit the subscribe button. If you like what you see, if you like these big mom and pop land yachts, boats, whatever you want to call them, Caprices, Cadillacs, Lincolns, that's what I sell. I deal a lot with them. So if you like seeing them, checking them out, window shopping or buying Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Let me know how I'm doing. And definitely check below in the description, like always, for my price on this car. Anyways, we'll bring inside here. You can see the beautiful wood trim that Chevrolet is still putting these cars. You got all four window switches, dual power front seats here, window locks, your mirror control. You can see here how nice and clean the door jams are. No rust on the jams, very, very clean all the hinges and stuff like that. A little dirty, I guess I missed a spot over here. Uh, but what's really crazy is how clean the interior is on this car. Bill and Shirley drove this car a lot, traveled a lot with it. Uh, I have in the trunk a burgundy towel that was over the seat for most of its life. You can see that's why how you know well-preserved that seat is. Even the carpeting. The carpeting on this top edge is in really nice shape. No heel marks or craziness. Uh, it even still has a few of the plastic strands from the original protective uh, mat that was down there. I will point out one wear spot that Bill must have had a lazy left foot and put some wear in the carpet on this side here. Um, the floor mats are in absolutely nice shape. I do have those in the trunk, I'll show you those. Got the original button snaps to hold the floor mats in. Dash pad is in really nice shape, no cracks, no uh, damage to the pad itself steering wheel shows very well let's see here how nice and clean and well kept this interior is bring it around to the back seat back seat is just as clean i want to say it was very very hardly used because this this back seat is absolutely beautiful the carpeting all that stuff shows absolutely nowhere at all you can see here all in the jams nice and clean you can see here how uh, the carpet still has that metallic sheen to it really clean and well kept back seat just as nice let me try to focus that there we'll go around to the passenger side Open up both those doors and show you how beautiful that shine is on that hood. Door panels, all in nice shape. There's no wear up on the top here. Power door lock controls on this side as well. 
You have your seat controls, your window as well. All inside the jams are nice and clean. Carpet on this side, same thing. Bill must have uh, rode passenger a few times because there's one small spot here. It's not a, a hole through, it's like the felt came off. Um, but aside from those two spots, you can see here, even the center transmission hump is very clean, very nice. The uh, top of the sill here, also perfect. Dash pad again, very nice shape. Inside the glove box, we have a few little trinkets here. Survival kit for Bill and Shirley on the road. <laughs> original owner's manual with a couple of notes written in there for probably key things, clock readjustment, stuff like that. Uh, I do have some receipts with this car, uh, including the original window sticker. Here's a receipt for the uh, four tires that were installed. This is uh, the owner's manual booklet that Bill must have made for himself. You can see here the original window sticker. 1995 Chevy Caprice Classic, dark cherry metallic, ruby, custom, even though they spelt the word custom wrong. Uh, some of the options, actually not very many options it looks like, but it did have a special value Caprice Classic package uh, that came with a few nice things that uh, adds to this car. 20,295 was the original selling price. And then just some service records throughout its life, also included with the car. But you can see here, Shirley was a lightweight as well. And this seat looks just as nice as the driver's seat. Inside the back here, nice and clean. Little ashtrays, seems very dangerous to be putting the ashes out or cigarettes out in those ashtrays, but hey, that was the 90s, I guess. Again, carpeting nice and clean, no stains. I don't know if Bill and Shirley had kids that were young enough to ride in this car. I know they had kids, but uh, thinking about it, I don't think they were young enough to be little kids riding in this car. Really well preserved. All right, we're gonna bring you under the hood. I'm gonna pop the hood, open up the trunk, and we'll show you inside. All right, we're inside the trunk here for the 95 Chevy Caprice show you some of the things that the car came with when i got it and i'm going to include with the car you have the beautiful factory floor mats when i say beautiful i mean beautiful you can see here again no staining these are the original floor mats at 126,000 miles how did these mats survive because this old school <laughs> rubber set of floor mats were on top of these mats even the driver's side you can see here no heel mark or wear really clean really well kept uh, they really took great pride in this car. Underneath here, you have a full-size spare. Looks like it was hardly used on a matching alloy wheel. You got the jack and everything under the bottom. Uh, Bill and Shirley, they did do a lot of driving. So you can see here, this is the towel that was on the driver's seat. They even have uh, blankets just in case, because you never know when grandma and grandpa get stranded. Their shovel, roadside flares, rope, tire inflator, four-way lug wrench. The basic needs for any elderly person on the road for a travel, uh, little travel assurance, even though they probably never ever use that stuff. I get that in a lot in uh, these types of cars. And then you can see Bill and Shirley were all American. They supported our troops. They loved America. See here the option tag code. Patterson in New Jersey. We'll go up to the hood, open that up. This car is actually running. It's been running the whole time. You can hear how quiet it is. This kind of threw me a trip. When you look at this engine, what do you think? You think of an LT1 V8, which a lot of these cars came with. Uh, it had the big hockey puck uh, air snorkel up on the top there. Everything, uh, excuse me, everything looks LT1. 350. This car is a 4.3 liter V8. Um, this car drives down the road beautiful. It's got plenty of power. It's a beautiful highway cruiser. Uh, I I really have a hard time telling the difference between the two of them. I'm sure there's a horsepower difference to get technical, 
uh, but really uh, peppy and powerful on the road. You can see here all the brake lines are in nice shape. The fender wells, no rust on them. Really well preserved under the hood. AC Delco battery. This car runs really nice. It cruises nicely. Like I said, we drove this car back from New Jersey. I was really impressed with how well this car rode and drove uh, with the four brand new tires. I believe it's got newer front brakes. Really, it's just a well-kept car. Uh, Bill and Shirley maintain the heck out of it to drive this thing. All right, I'm gonna put my plate on it. I'm gonna take it for a spin down the road in this 1995 Caprice. All right, we're inside the 95 Caprice Classic. We're gonna take her for a spin down the road here. Show you some of the features. You got your climate control, uh, AC Delco or Delco uh, electronic stereo system. You have uh, all your 1990s smoking apparatuses. And even in here, you have a little change tray, cup holder. And then if you were a smoker, which Bill and Shirley were not, uh, an ashtray. Those are tokens for the Delaware uh, Bridge. They traveled a lot. The tokens are no longer usable, but that's uh, something that goes along with the car there. You can see here, 126,000 miles. And uh, the car really is a comfortable riding automobile. All right. Dash pad. see here yeah, we'll get her out of the drive we'll take her for a spin if this is one of your first videos I know I mentioned it before but definitely hit that subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner if you like what you see and uh, take a look in the description below to see the price of this beautiful 95 Caprice I always put the price down in the description of all my videos and then when the car is sold I do mark them sold and I put them that down there as well so definitely take a look uh, to see if this car uh, is available and see how much this car is uh, if you're interested in purchasing it My name is Anthony. I appreciate you tuning in. 978-930-1004. If you have any questions, I can also get this car delivered right to your front door. I'm located in Pelham, New Hampshire, but definitely don't let distance stop you from getting your dream ride. Let me know how I can help you get this car delivered. I set up all the logistics right in house here. 978-930-1004. Hopefully everybody's having a great weekend and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching.